Hello and welcome back to another Figma video. It's been a while since we did a Figma video. This year there was an app for Figma Auto Layout and if you haven't used Auto Layout, what the hell are you doing? Why have you not used Auto Layout? It will literally change your design life and it will speed up your process relatively quickly. Now, if you've never used Auto Layout before, I do have two previous videos on my YouTube channel, so I'll make sure to link them in the description below and I'll also add it to the card above. I don't know which side the card is on. The newest update that has come out with Figma Auto Layout is the fact now that you can add a wrap and it's also made things a little bit more easy to understand when you want to do spacing and stuff like that and you're able now to do more things and we're going to do that now and we're going to check out this template that I've set up. So if you want to follow along with this then you will be able to get this template within Figma community and again there's a link in the description below so that said let's get on with the video. Right now we are in Figma and as you can see I just mocked up a really quick design just to show you basically what we can do with auto layout. Each one of these screens or each one of these part of the, the screen itself is set up with auto layout. And you know this by if you click it, you have this little thing here which is indicating you to tell you it's an auto layout, align to the center, we have padding top and bottom and we have also have horizontal padding so that means pushing things in like this and then we also have 46 pixels of spacing so that means between different things you get different types of spacing now the cool thing right now about auto layout is that this is all set up as a round number but i can change a lot of this if i wanted to so let's say for instance i wanted to change the height of this now again you can just double click in this new little box pops up that's awesome it never used to do that before and it's literally telling me the bottom padding can be changed or i can change it here on the right hand side so for instance let's say i've turned this to, to 204 we can see it pushes all this content down so it makes it relatively easy to make these type of changes and you don't have to laugh around moving the pixels yourself in between between all this there is 24 pixels worth of padding again I can change this if I wanted to so right now it's set to horizontal I could I could change it vertical and it's all changed to vertical but we'll keep it horizontal but let's say I want to turn this up to 32 I can and it just keeps pushing it okay so these are the type of things that we can do with auto layout or the standard auto layout as well we know it now why is this important well when you come over to a mobile design there are certain things that you want to change you want it to now stack on top of themselves and like i said it's all relatively easy to make these changes i'll just show you quickly of what you can actually do with this i'm not to be vertical so all these have come down now and i want to change the full size of this so let's say a mobile frame is 320 you think it's it's made a doozy but it hasn't so we're gonna need to move these paddings around because these are quite large for mobile what we can do here is change this side to 16 and then this side to 16 and now we have perfect padding we can also change the top so let's say we want to turn that to 24 and then the very bottom is set to 104 we can change that to and then in between here is saying that it's 46 we can turn that to 24 as well now with the newest version of auto layout we now have this instant which is called wrapped this is honestly a game changer i'm just going to show you what it's like to wrap something we're just going to copy over these so it's Control c and Control v and as you can see it adds another card to the right so what if i wanted to keep adding more cards so i can just keep pasting in and it'll just keep adding and the reason why it keeps adding to the middle is because this is a center to middle you know if i wanted to align it over here then it'll move all that why is this so important well since it's set to wrap ever size this frame is it'll either put three in a line or if we start to break this in and bring it smaller watch what happens it starts to jump and this list can get smaller and smaller and there we go but that's the gist it will leave you to make breakpoints and it's so good you can you know delete these and it'll just keep following it or you can add more just keep pasting and it will build the whole thing up as you go without you having to individually move every single thing so these are the main updates of auto layout 
I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a relatively short one. Like I said, if you're new to auto layout, then I do recommend watching my two previous videos and you'll go into a bit more in depth into all the different settings and stuff like that. But this was just a quick video to show you the new updates of auto layout. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue making videos like this or if you have anything else you want me to make videos about, then please let me know. And until next time, bye!